The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit and is a non-title matchup. Introducing first of all, making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 280 pounds, the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Show. It's Mike Tanay and Taz welcoming you back to Impact on this Thursday night. And while Samoa Joe is currently slotted at number six in the rankings, he feels he should be no worse than number four. Logic is he defeated number four AJ Styles last week while number five Sting was suspended. Joe realized he hadn't hurt the right to jump Anderson, Hardy, and Abyss for a title shot. And when Joe explained to Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff, he just wanted to beat RVD man to man. Hogan and Bischoff said, prove yourself. I also think it sounds to me like Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff smelt some ratings in this match. Can't blame them. Introducing his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, the TNA heavyweight champion of the world, Rob Van Dam. And think about it. Not only three challengers this Sunday at Victory Road and the out of control monster abyss, plus Jeff Hardy and Mr. Anderson. But now, three days away from that title defense, it's his first ever meeting with Samoa Joe. Hey, well look, Rob Van Dam said he would be a, a fighting champion. I'm not surprised at that, and he's not lying about it. I mean, if I'm Van Dam, I don't know if I would take on uh, this, this challenge here, or this opportunity, I should say to uh, get in the ring with someone at the level of that man there, Samoa Joe, just a couple of days before defending my match in a, my, my title in a four-way. That is just crazy, but Van Dam, that's his style, man. He's laid back, he's never tense. He's all about just chilling out, let's go for it. That's his thing. He's been like that for years, I'm telling you. I am really looking forward to seeing these two men hook it up right now. Couldn't agree with you more. This is the dream match we were talking about in this first hour of Impact. And yes, first ever meeting between these two, RVD, Samoa Joe, and Taz, when it comes to the focus, you can just tell the look in the eyes of the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe, and especially after going to Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff, well, yeah. telling them he's gonna prove himself. But then you look on the other side of the ring, and RVD, not only Joe tonight, but the three challengers in three days. Well, I gotta tip my hat, man, to Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff for making this match official here tonight. I'll tell you, that, that that's big time right here. This is a big time match with a big fight feel. Now, I would be surprised if Samoa Joe tries to peel out some of those impactful, explosive suplexes. And I can tell you from experience, they don't always work with Van Damme. Taz, let's talk about the contrasting styles between the World Heavyweight Champion RVD and Samoa Joe. And certainly Joe, just, I mean, the mere nickname, the Samoan Submission Machine, known for that muscle buster that usually leads to the rear naked choke, the Kakina Clutch. At the same time, RVD is gonna hit you with moves from every angle and certainly not afraid to go high risk as well, they exchange shots back and forth. Well, both these men are heavy hitters, exchanging low round kicks. It's almost like a stalemate. Bam! Oh, oh my God! God, what a shot to the face with that kick! My man got drilled right there. Joe just got blasted and he's about to get another one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Buster. Look at Van Damme trying to punch his way out of it. Man, it looks like Joe might have lost his cool head. I don't know if he should be going for this this early in the match. Look at the two fighting for position in the corner. Oh, oh my God. God, face first, chest first, I should say. Goes the champion. Well, that's the ruthlessness, the violence that Samoa Joe can bring out. What a bad landing for the World Heavyweight Champion, Rob Van Dam, as Joe propelled him from the top all the way down, and you uh, saw that bad crash. That kind of happens when a 300-pound oh. Samoan just chucks you. Bad things usually happen. Oh, you know, you talked about, you know, strategy and game plan and whatnot. You know, listen, Van Dam, what he has in his favor 
when he's going against someone that's bigger than him, that sustain, that can uh, dish out a lot of submissions and different throws, is Van Dam's flexibility is just amazing, which is a big part of his success. It keeps him healthy, and it keeps him out of harm's way with submission and throws. Right now, wait a minute. That time, Samoa Joe one step ahead. And oh! Oh, and then he goes airborne. Suicide dive, and I think a shot with the elbow and the forearm added in for good measure. Let's take another look, Taz. Well, let's see this again. Look at that, Samoa Joe, 300 pounds soaring through the air. Amazing athleticism, but wait a minute. Look at this. Now look who's entered the impact zone. Once again, it's Tommy Dreamer. It's Rhino, Stevie Richards, and yeah, Raven as well. The four are back once again. Huh. Well, something's up with these four men here. And as you said, several weeks we've seen them out here. I don't know what's up. Joe rolls RVD back in. And what Joe feels confident here at this point. He's going to go for the pin, going to go for the cover, and... Again, we talked about the resiliency that Van Dam has. I mean, this is a, uh, this is just a phenomenal night here. We got this match here with Van Dam and Samoa Joe, as we pointed out later on. Jeff Hart, watch his, watch his quickness. Got him! Oh. Joe missed the kick. Boom! Able to quickly go for the roll-up was RVD. Gets a two count, but then comes right back and connects with the drop kick. Like I was saying, we got Hardy and Anderson later on. I mean, you got to look at you got to look at Abyss as a favorite going to this Sunday. He's not really uh, having to compete tonight. It looked to me right there like RVD just saw the four in the audience here at the Impact Zone, Taz. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, I didn't see that. Like he made eye contact with Dreamer, Richards, Rhino, and Raven, and. You still gonna tell me that you don't have any idea what these four are doing here? No, Mike, I'm not. You, Mike, what are you, what are you, what are you, you know, implying? You say this to me every week. I don't know what Dreamer and Raven and Richards and Ryan. I don't know what's up with these guys. Okay, I, I really don't. You know, I'm not implying anything. I'm just, oh, I'm just asking you a question now. I, I wonder why you're getting so defensive about this situation. It's not that I'm defensive. I'm just sick of people asking me. I, oh, I knew these guys. You know, I was tight with these guys years ago, and even then we had issues a little bit. I don't know. I mean, I, I, you know, I fell out of touch with most of these guys, so I really don't have to tell you. Is it true that Tommy Dreamer was the best man at your wedding, Taz? Yes, it is true. I mean, but, but, yeah, it is. And that was years ago. That was over a decade ago. And if I was getting married today, he probably wouldn't be my best man. There's no issues with me and Tommy, but that was then. This is now. I, I don't know what that. they're doing. It just, seemed, just seems kind of strange to me that somebody with that kind of a relationship wouldn't know what these four were doing here week after week. Oh. How about the snap, the slam by Joe? Do we go two? No. Oh. That oh, was excellent how quick he snapped off the power slam small Joe into that cradle. And Dams and Dyer straights right now. This is where you don't want to be if you're Van Dam. You don't want Samoa Joe stalking you and keeping that heavy, heavy arsenal of offense that he has on you. Samoa Joe using the hair of Van Dam as a handle. Snap mares him over and this is his opportunity right here to neutralize RVD and at the same time wear him down. Well, look at that. And that's not that's not a uh, your basic rear rear chin lock. It's more like a clasp with a cross face right across the jaw. That hurts like hell across your cheekbone. You see Rob is trying to break that grip. As you see, uh, the richest Rhino, Raven and Dreamer looking on. And then again trying to break that grip, get it off his face. But he'll also try and get back up to his feet here. And he has reached the vertical base. Well, that's where Rob's most dangerous. You don't want to stay on the ground with Samoa Joe. The series of elbows. And then right oh. hand after right hand and then the kick. Devastating kick. Followed up by a nice clothesline. Wow. wow. Talk about clotheslines. All the momentum of Samoa Joe going forward. He's it. got him this here. This might be it. Here's two. And I talked about the toughness of Van Dam and how much punishment he can sustain. And how about the punishment that Samoa Joe can dish out? We're gonna find out just how resilient 
the TNA World Heavyweight Champion is here as Joe sets him up in the corner. And you can hear the knife edge chop to the chest of the World it Heavyweight just, Champion. It just echoed throughout the impact and, zone. And Mike, in just three days, Van Dam has to defend his title against three men. Crazy. Oh! oh. Watch out! From the middle rope, catches him with the kick and goes for the cover and gets another near fall. We knew this match would be awesome. It's not disappointing one bit. Might be a little rolling thunder action. There it is. RVD connects. They have Joe in position for the pin. Here's one. Here's two. Well, that, we'll tell you what. Joe barely kicking out of that. I think Rob got more of that rolling thunder than, than, uh, than Joe even thought. Uh oh. We anticipated the potential for high-risk moves from RVD. Oh! Caught him from the top. Kick on the button. Here's one, two. Got him, got him. Oh! God, I'll tell you. The leg thrust style kick off the top is so dangerous, but Samoa Joe amazingly kicks out a two. If I'm the championship committee right now watching this, Whoa. I'm thinking myself, win, lose, or draw, Samoa Joe should move up that ranking system. If I was on that committee, that's what I'd be thinking. Again, Joe, desperation, blasting, dropping the champion. Been talking about the resiliency of Van Dam, but how about that move from Joe right there? Just as the eyes rolled to the back of his head while he was into the corner. When it looked like he was dazed, out on his feet, he explodes and nails RVD with that shot. Turning point in the match right here. Both men trying to get to a vertical base. Joe's up. Van Dam finally up. Oh, got caught! That Uranagi-type maneuver driving Van Dam. Uh-oh. Joe's in the zone, baby! Oh, power bomb. Two. No, Van Dam gets the shoulder up just before three. Joe got here. That was like a version of a Boston Crab. Just hooking the arms differently. At the same time, all of the weight of Samoa Joe across the back of Rob Van Dam. Oh, boy, it's got a single leg crab now. Oh, oh my God, look at him sit down on this move. Look at Van Dam's spine just... Well, that's, you, you gotta do that if you're Rob Van Dam. Single leg Boston Crab is an extremely difficult move to escape out of. Safety of the rope break for the world heavyweight champion. Samoan submission machine trying to make Van Dam submit, but RVD just barely able to make it to the ring rope. Referee and Joe oh. in conversation. RVD sneaks up from behind, catches him with a series of shots, but then Joe answers with headbutts. Nasty double headbutts right there. Power game of Joe, got him, got him. slam, but RVD floats over. Gonna try and roll him up off the road. Got him, got him. So to gonna try and reverse it. There got it is. Choke the choke. That's it, rear naked choke. He tried to slip out, Rob tried to slip out. And he escaped at one point. You don't have the legs in, though. Joe don't have the legs in. That's helping Van Dam. Van Dam senses that he's got to get up to this base, the vertical base that he's at. Springs back off the ropes. Still hanging on. Crashes down on Joe. Got a pick, got a pick, got a pick. Co winner of the match, Rob Van Dam. Well, I don't know how Rob Van Dam's neck is not snapped in half right now. It's amazing. Really is. Uh, the tenacity by Samoa Joe to hang on to that rear naked choke. And Van Dam able to do like a, almost like a inverted type bridge or cradle, whatever, and, uh, to get the, the shoulders of uh, Joe down and get the victory. You can see both Van Dam, Samoa Joe exhausted after this ultra competitive matchup. And Samoa Joe really was in the place, the position he wanted to be. Had that rear naked well, choke, but RVD was able to come back with a very unique type counter. He landed on top of Joe, and he gains the victory. That was one hell of a match, I'm telling you right now. On free TV to boot, folks. No shame in my opinion if you're Samoa Joe.
I got a funny feeling both men might earn a little bit more respect for each other. In that dream match, a purest dream match. That was just excellent stuff by both athletes. And something tells me these two are going to meet again down the road, Taz. I can't wait to see it. I was honored to call that, and I'll be honored to call it again. And Rob Van Dam, as he takes the TNA World Heavyweight title belt to the back, realizes that he has three challengers this Sunday at Victory Road in Jeff Hardy, Mr. Anderson, and that out of control monster Abyss. Well, look, uh, Joe's trying to say to referee what happened, man. You sure my shoulders were down? He's kind of pleading his case. Oh! oh. 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 This is going to be trouble, Joe. Yo, Joe, oh, come on, down. Joe. Oh, first the slap to referee Jamie Tucker in his face. What? Get him up for the muscle Oh, my God. Buster. Oh, my God. He's going to break this guy's neck. Go! Oh. Well, that might cost Joe some money right there. And I don't think the Samoan submission machine cares. Wow, what a sight. Referee laid out. The look on the face of Samoa Joe, it tells me we have not seen the last of Joe and RVD.